Amen. Thank you. This one, let's take our Bible. We'll go to the New Testament. Let's go to the book of Luke, chapter number 11, and verse number 42. We'll not take but just a few minutes this morning. Uh, we're celebrating the birthdays of everyone for the month of July. And uh, so we'll try to give a little extra time for that so everyone can fellowship and uh, spend some time together just before we uh, head out to our responsibilities for the day. But if you'll go to, with me, if you would please, to the uh, Gospel of Luke, chapter number four, uh, then we'll go down to verse number 42. It's a very familiar text. And I suppose with have been a group of missionaries and our staff here and employees at Rock of Ages Ministries, you may be thinking, why in the world would you do a devotion uh, for a couple of days on the subject matter that lays before us? But I believe this is very important. I think that in America, uh, we still have a lot of people that are robbing God in the matter of tithes. And so I'm going to just speak on the subject matter just briefly for a couple of days on why we are required to tithe. What does the Bible have to say about it? And I'm going to read, if you would please, in Luke chapter number 11, and uh, we'll go down to, if you would please, in verse number uh, 42. And uh, notice what the Bible says, Jesus is speaking. And he simply says this, But woe unto you Pharisees, for you tithe mint and rue and all manner of herbs, and pass over judgment and the love of God. These ought you to have done, and not to leave the other undone. And so notice what in this passage of Scripture, and I'm not going to take the time to read it all in its context. We'll do that, Lord willing, on another day when there's a little more time. But notice, if you would please, in verse number 42, uh, he pronounces a woe or judgment upon the Pharisees. He said, for they pay their tithe of mint and rue and so forth and all manner of herbs. And then he comes back and he rebukes them because they pass over judgment and other areas of their life. And so as we consider this matter, uh, there's a big argument as to whether a tithing is New Testament or not. And we're going to look at it briefly in the Old Testament, then also bring it into the New Testament. But the Bible is very clear in this text that Jesus has established the tithe in the New Testament. He very clearly told them, these things ought you to have done. And so Jesus is substantiating the tithe in the New Testament. Also in Matthew chapter 23 and verse number 23, we'll look at this at another time or morning when we have a little more time. But we also find the same uh, similar quotes where Jesus is saying to the disciples that it's okay to pay the tithe. You ought to do these. And so God has reached over in the Old Testament and he has taken the tithe and he has brought it into the New Testament and Jesus Christ substantiates it in the New Testament. Now the tithe is simple and I know I'm speaking to adults this morning, so please forgive me for my simplistic illustrations this morning. Uh, but sometimes, um, maybe I ought not to say that because you'll take it offensive, but we're living in a day and age where not with this group, we're older in here this morning for the most part, uh, most of us, I'm going to get myself, it doesn't matter what I say, I'm going to get myself in trouble. I was going to say most of us have gray hair, and then I'm sitting there thinking all them ladies are going to be highly offended because I said all of us have, most of us have gray hair. But uh, we would have gray hair if it weren't for beauty shops. And let me just leave it right there if I could. I've already dug myself a major ditch this morning and uh, poured concrete on it, and it's about half set already. But... Um, I don't know why it's at now, but talking about the tithe, all of us know about the tithe. We don't have to worry about the simplistic illustrations here, but t t a tithe is 10%. And so, of course, 10% of a dollar is class 10 cents, all right? And 10% uh, of $10 is? All right, and 10% of $100 is? And 10% of $1,000 is? And 10% of 100000 is? And a 10% of a hundred million is? Man, we are dragging this morning. So we did, maybe the simplistic illustration is okay for this group this morning. And I said that because there might be some of you sitting on a million dollars and you need to tithe off of it. And I highly encourage you to do that. Your pastor will die of a heart attack. The church will shout and run the aisles. And then I would encourage you to give a great offering to world missions and evangelization through your church and just give the rest of it to the Rock of Ages and trust God for your life, all right? So anyway, but with all that being said, all seriousness, we are commanded to tithe, and the tithe is 10%. Now, this is not an option. Jesus did not say these things you should do if you determine to do so or you uh, determine in your heart, you evaluate it and decide to. It's not a... Uh, it's not a multiple choice option. It is a command. 
Amen. in the Bible. Yes, and so we're commanded. The tithe is a command. You know what that means? If we do not tithe, we are walking in rebellion against God. Yeah. Yes, sir. Now, only the preachers are saying amen this amen. morning. Um, but the tithe is commanded of God. It's commanded that we tithe, and Jesus himself carried it into the New Testament. We'll sit a little later. We'll look at it, the Lord willing. I'm going to spend a lot of time here. Um, I know most of us know about the tithe. We know how important it is. But in 1 Corinthians chapter number 9, the Bible even gives us the details as to what the tithe is to be used for in the New Testament. And it's carried over from the Old Testament into the New Testament. I've said this before. I'm going to give this simple illustration and we'll uh, close this morning uh, because of the extra activity that we have scheduled. But I've said this before, and that is that sometimes uh, people say that's just Old Testament. It's not under the New Testament. And, but there are some things in the Old Testament that God reaches over and brings into the New Testament and establishes it and carries it over. And there are some things that God even takes and moves the standard when he moves it from the Old Testament into the New Testament. He lifts the bar or the standard on that that he has moved over from the Old Testament into the New Testament. I'll give you one brief example. I use this. Uh, from time to time, and it's concerning adultery. In the Old Testament, you get caught in the act of adultery. They take you out, and you were stoned to death. In the New Testament, Jesus said, if a man looks upon a woman yeah. and lusts after in his heart, he's committed adultery already in his heart. The Old Testament, they got caught, they had to get caught in the act. The New Testament, it was a matter of the heart. Jesus yeah. upped the standard. And I know in the Old Testament it's applicable as well, but the standard that was set, Jesus lifted the bar from that command from the Old Testament he brought into the New Testament. And so we find that he has taken the Old Testament tithe, moved it into the New Testament, and reestablished it. And so in order to do that, much of our examples in Scripture is from the Old Testament. But there's plenty enough in the New Testament to look at and examine well, uh, as well. So why do we tithe? We tithe because it is commanded of God that we tithe, that we give 10% of what comes in uh, to the Lord. And we're going to find that that is not to be given outside the local church. I believe in storehouse tithing. Amen. The tithe belongs to the church. Amen. Amen. And we don't have the option of uh, saying, well, I'd like to put my tithe in missions, or I'd like to put my tithe in the special building fund, or I'd like to put my tithe to some missionary and evangelist, or some TV preacher, or some radio um, personnel that I heard on his radio broadcast. No, God told us specifically what the tithe is for, how much it was, and where it was designated to go. Yes, sir. Now, give your tithe, and if you want to give more, God bless you. But uh, the tithe is 10%, and it goes to the local church, storehouse tithing. Well, with that being said this morning, uh, let's have a course. We'll get into our extra.